to start, you should be at a very low speed or standing still to do it correctly. Then, make sure to do a feint with your strong foot towards the side of your supporting foot to make the defender believe that you are going to go down there. Pay close attention to the position of my supporting foot and the inclination of my upper body which allows me to really accentuate the feint. After that, chain it directly with a feint made with your support foot. Be careful though, it combines both amplitude and speed, so make sure you do it quickly, yes, but also well. To do this the right way, your supporting foot should come far enough from the ball and your upper body leaning to the side. For the fourth step, you have to touch the ball with the outside of your foot to push it to the side. If you push it back slightly, it's fine too. The fifth step is a light and fast jump done with your strong foot to give you momentum in order to get the ball back on the next step. This step is not mandatory, however, in some situations, it's very useful. And finally, push the ball with the inside of any other part of your foot to go forward. Together, it should look like this. To start, drive the ball backwards as you move towards your own goal. Whether it is slowly or jogging, it's important that you are on the move when you perform this skill, because it uses your momentum. Then, while you are moving, let the ball land on the side of your weak foot or the one towards which you are going to perform the body feint. This step is very important because in addition to preparing you for the next move, it also aims to bait the defender so that you can eliminate him even more easily. After that, you have to do a feint with your strong foot, as if you wanted to push the ball with the inside. To perform the feint perfectly, it is important that you lean with your whole body to the side where you are doing it, as you can see it on the screen. Follow that up with a feint made using your standing foot. This feint will accentuate the previous one and even more deceive the defender. Also, pay attention to the upper part of my body, which also serves to fake it. Just after that, you will have to make a first outside cut towards the back and the side to go in the opposite direction. This one will help you to decelerate, stop completely and start the acceleration process again. And this one is really to escape and let go of the defender. Make sure you really change the two touches in successive steps and also, as you can see it on the screen, touch the ball as far from your supporting foot as possible as well as extending your leg to move forward faster. Realize perfectly, it gives that.
llega Messi, Messi encarando, estático a Roberto Carlos, le dejó sentado en el suelo, se va para la diagonal, busca dentro a Gucci. Y si no viene Messi, Messi dentro del área, Messi por fuera, línea de fondo, la pone atrás de todo. Lo que hablamos cuando Iniesta recibe entre las dos líneas del Atlético. Los posibles ánimos del Atlético de Madrid, el Atlético de Madrid el intenta el empate. Se acaban y mira los caras que está en León Messi, mira el que hace Messi, mira el que hace Messi y el trabase. To begin with, this combo is mainly done stationary or at a low speed. In this tutorial, I'm doing it at low speed, however, know that you can also do it standing still. Then, when you get close enough to the defender, you should do a light touch or fake touch, depends how you wanna call it, to prepare for the body faint. This step is not mandatory, but be aware that making a fake touch just before the faint or any other skill for that matter will accentuate it by being on your tiptoes but also raising of the upper body will both contribute to deceive the defender even more at the time of the feint. Right after is the lateral body feint making as if you are going to push the ball with the outside of your foot to accelerate. This feint combines both amplitude and speed together. So ensure that it's done extremely quickly, yes, but by feigning your opponent as much as possible at the same time. And finally, you have to accelerate with the inside of the foot to leave the defender for dead. All this gives that. Time. That was brilliant. Three minutes of added time signal. No room for experimentation tonight against Real Madrid. Messi all gets past Casa. To start, you should move sideways with the inside of your foot, preferably. You don't necessarily have to go fast, but you should still be moving. When you see an opening to get away, use your strong foot to fake another touch with the inside. To do this correctly, tilt your upper body in the same direction and have your supporting foot positioned just behind the ball. Then follow it immediately with another feint, but this time done with your supporting foot. The further away from the ball you can be, the better. And of course, the more you will feint your opponent at the same time. Notice that my upper body is tilting to the side as if I were really going there. It's very important that you play with your whole body for any feint. And finally, you will have to lift the ball just above your opponent's foot. To do it correctly, use the outside top of the foot. This part that you can see on the screen right now. Done perfectly, it gives that.
for the first step, you should be moving sideways so that you move towards the center of the field. Then once you see the defender moving in the same direction, perform a feint by pretending you are going to accelerate in front of you. This feint doesn't need to be done directly over the ball, but you can do it slightly to the side as you can see it on the screen. Make sure you jump slightly when doing it though. Just after that, make an outside touch to stop you abruptly and start your reacceleration process at the same time. And finally, do another touch to really pick up the speed and eliminate the defender. All this gives that. So that's it for this video about Leo Messi's best body fence. If you like it, feel free to check this playlist out about all the other videos about Leo Messi's too. Otherwise, I thank you for watching this one and I will see you in the next video.